Marcus, it doesn't get any better than this. Uh, 20 knots of breeze, sunshine, warm. And we're sailing from uh, Manly, which is just behind me here, and we're going up to Middle Harbour, which is up in front. So we're out on Peter Lewis's Genoa 37, and he's kindly agreed to take us for a sail on what's turned out to be an absolutely stunning day. We're in Middle Harbour, which is part of Sydney Harbour. It's blowing a sweet 17 knots right now. There's uh, virtually no swell because the wind's coming from what looks like the kind of uh, west south west And uh, this is when a boat like this performs at its best. Peter is a successful businessman who's now semi-retired. In between sailing his boat and work, he volunteers for Lifeline, a counselling service that provides crisis support. Today, Peter will tell us all about his boat, Luli Bell. So Peter, uh, tell us about the uh, way that you've got this boat uh, rigged on the coach house for the running rigging. Yeah, uh, what I've done Marcus is I've had all the uh, ropes brought back to the cockpit. Often we're at sea in a seaway, we don't want to be going out of the cockpit. This is a cruising boat mainly. We have uh, Genoa halyard, we've got a spare Genoa halyard on this side and we've also got the spinnaker uh, pole up and down and the spinnaker halyard over there. We've got a furling line, main sheet and main halyard. We've also got the electric winch, which makes life very easy uh, when you're uh, operating on the boat. We also have barber haulers on both sides so that we can bring the uh, headsail uh, sheets in a bit, which gives us just a bit more power upwind, sometimes as much as half a knot. Yeah, we've got a, a few uh, uh, little innovations up here. Firstly, we've put uh, some clips forward here to hang the halyards, which means we've got the halyards away from uh, any uh, uh, area that could, they could get in the way, but more importantly, they don't bang on the mast at night. We've got a pole that sits up here, which is for poling out the headsail only for downwind. As I mentioned to you earlier, we use an asymmetric kite, and we use this pole here, which we've rigged on the side of the boat, but it goes forward and goes through the port roller. And what that does is get the kite well forward. So we can actually run with the kite, would you believe, and the headsail up if we want to, although we don't do that very often. You could run as a cutter rig. This is the great thing about this boat, is this push button windshield. I love it. Uh, I come from a large family and once a year uh, we all have a, a lunch, it's a tradition, all the males over 18 have a lunch at HMAS Cuttable which is at Garden Island and my father was in the Navy for many years and this is his home base and so Cuttable goes everywhere with us. Well Marcus, as you know this is my uh, pride and joy. The first boat I've owned in fact. Uh, the sorts of things that I was looking for in a boat were uh, I wanted a boat that was comfortable, well built, solid. Um, I wanted it to have a large cockpit area and I wanted a boat that would also still handle and sail well. For a 37 foot boat this is a very practical galley. We have a very large fridge. This fridge goes so far down that I don't think I've ever seen the bottom of it. I like an L-shaped galley because it's practical at sea. I do a lot of cooking and I enjoy my cooking and that's why I don't have any problems getting crew. And uh, I've cooked for as many as 20 people on the boat. Well, the funny thing is, uh, uh, I was told that when this spl splashback was put on, that uh, most women when they came on the boat said I want that boat because of the splashback. It's a very uh, a nice piece of glassware, it's got the Genoa name on it and I just think it adds a bit of that French styling to the boat. This is Wilson, our mascot. Um, Wilson has been with us since uh, day one. The aft cabin's a very large cabin, uh, Marcus. This uh, boat can come in a three uh, cabin layout and a two cabin layout. Um, with the large cabin here, we've actually had as many as four or five people sleeping back here, but that's uh, been when my daughter was much younger with her kids. Um, the nav station. I, I think one of the shames is that more modern boats are not having a dedicated nav station. For me, a really well laid out nav station is very important, particularly when you're away for a long period of time and cruising. I've put in as much as I could think of uh, into this nav station. We have our GPS, our radio, we have a spare handheld to take away. I think probably the, the biggest single uh, item that would sell this boat to me is the separate shower stall, uh, as you can see here. And uh, it, it means that the rest of the bathroom doesn't get wet when you're showering. 
This little sign is a favourite of mine. I, I found it in a, uh, a book on Buddhism, and it says, "Let go, open your heart, unfold your spiritual sails, open your angelic wings, and soar on the wind. Enjoy the infinite." And that sort of sums up sailing for me.